kick 2024 off with a fresh and clean start. Yeah, Molly is live in Roseville getting some helpful tips on how to organize your year. Hey, Molly. Mm -hmm. Hey, good morning. Yes, you know what? We all have our resolutions for the year, right? But the key is sticking to them. Mm, that's the trick. <laughs> Has to make it past the first week, past the first month, hopefully through the year. Uh, Trista Baville of Tidy with Trista, our organizing expert. I know this time of year, you're very busy. People want to get organized. Yes. Uh, so you help them out, but you also see a lot of people maybe go about it the wrong way. That's not, you know, it doesn't have longitude towards it. Right. So uh, you have three tips so that people can keep that resolution throughout the year, throughout their lives. Yes. So the goal of my tips today is to help you get the results that you're actually looking for. Um, so hopefully, hopefully you guys can do that. <laughs> okay. Fingers crossed. Yes. Um, so the first one is more of a mindset. I just kind of quickly want to talk about like what being organized actually means. I know a lot of people say like, Oh, you're organized or you're a home organizer. Your home must be perfect all the time. And, and that's not the reality of it. You know, you guys come here. So obviously we're going to have it tidy, but, um, you know, people live here, people live in your homes. You have kids, they play with their toys as they should. Right. Um, you know, like I know we talked about it during the playroom segment segment, like my kids will take out a bin, dump it on the floor and play and it'll look like a tornado came through the house. But with being organized, that means you have systems in place. So getting your home reset or getting your space reset is really simple. So it doesn't take hours to put, you know, even if they took out every single toy, it wouldn't take hours. It's just quick because everything has a spot. Yeah, and I feel like if you, if you like focus on it being perfect all the time, it just sets you up for failure. You think, oh, I didn't do it, and then you give up. So yeah. having some, uh, being a little relaxed about it as well. Uh, for your tip number two, we have some photos we want to pull. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So tip number two, I know there's a lot of inspiration pictures circling about getting organized and it's like the beautiful bins and baskets and labeled and don't get me wrong. I love that too. <laughs> right. But we're talking about what is going to work, where are you, how are you going to get the results? So really decluttering, I know we love that word, editing, purging, whatever you want to call it. Decluttering is where it's at. That's where you're going to get started. So, um, in the tips I'm, or the pictures, I'm actually showing a client who had a game closet. She has kids, they love games, but every time you would take out a game, 10 more would follow mm -hmm. <laughs> because, you know, it was just kind of packed and, um, her end result, she just wanted it more streamlined. And all she had to do was go through the games, go through what makes sense for her family. Maybe there's some games that are broken. Maybe some, her children have outgrown. Maybe she has duplicates or maybe they just don't like the game anymore. Whatever the case is, no longer serving her family, got rid of the excess and then was left with a beautiful streamlined closet. Yeah. You don't have to put all your organizing on Instagram. <laughs> you just have to make it work for you. Okay, yeah. quickly, last, last tip for us. So the last tip is going to be how to get started. So we know we need to declutter, but how do we do that? So like with anything new, we always want to start with baby steps. We recommend starting small. So whether it's going to be a drawer in your kitchen, like a junk drawer or a utensil drawer, um, or even like cooking utensil drawer, like we have here, just really go in and evaluate what you're going to, what you actually use. A lot of times we're so into our day to day, we grab what we use and we just don't even pay attention to the rest. So now we need to pay attention to the rest, get rid of what doesn't make sense for you. And then, and then here you go. Yeah. If you're like me and this drawer doesn't open because this is stuck like <laughs> just making this simple step, that'll, yeah. that'll clear up your mind, allow you to be a little bit more organized in what you do every day. Yes. And give yourself <laughs> grace. You got this. <laughs> hey, you guys, you've got this and people want more organizing tips. Where do they find you? Yep. You can follow us on Instagram at tidy with Trista. And then if you need home organizing, tidy with Trista.com. Okay, and best wishes for you all to have a very happy, organized new year. <laughs> I'll send it back to you. Man, I'm so bummed that Courtney's missing this. She oh, yeah. loves organized stuff oh, yeah. so much. <laughs> all right, Molly, thank you so much. Appreciate that.